The cosmos beckons. Humanity stands on the brink of a new dawn, a return to the moon. This is not just a dream, it is a plan. Artemis 3. NASA has set a date. By September 2026, astronauts, including the first woman, will walk on the lunar surface. The challenge is immense, pushing the limits of technology and human will. Over 50 years have passed since our last lunar footsteps, now the countdown begins anew. At the heart of this mission is SpaceX, tasked with building the vehicle to carry astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon. This vehicle, Starship, is unlike anything before, fully reusable, designed for affordable, frequent space travel. Artemis 3's success depends on SpaceX perfecting this revolutionary machine. The timeline is tight, less than a year remains for SpaceX to prove Starship can land on the moon unmanned before it's cleared for a crew. This uncrewed test is a critical milestone, proof of safety and reliability. Every test, every calculation, every weld brings us closer. The world is watching, hopes pinned on this return to our celestial neighbor. Artemis 3 is more than a landing. It's the first step toward a permanent human presence on the moon. The goal, build a lunar outpost, a base for learning to live and work on another world. From the moon, we set our sights on Mars. SpaceX's role is to build the transport system for this new era of exploration. The journey is long and filled with challenges, but the destination is a future where the sky is just the beginning. The Artemis 3 mission is our next giant leap. Landing on the moon is a delicate dance with gravity, no room for error. The lunar surface is hostile, sharp dust, craters and boulders threaten every landing. Starship HLS, much larger than Apollo's lander, must navigate these dangers autonomously. Its powerful engines must slow descent without blasting a crater or kicking up destructive dust. SpaceX engineers are racing to perfect landing legs and engine controls. Every aspect of descent is simulated and tested thousands of times on Earth. Before astronauts board, an uncrewed starship must land and return from the moon, proving every system works. This test is the final exam before Artemis 3. A single flight will decide if the 2026 deadline is possible. The world will be watching, the stakes are cosmic. Success opens the door to a new age of lunar exploration, large payloads, sustainable habitats. It will validate Starship as a reusable system beyond Earth. Failure would force a rethink of the entire Artemis timeline. Every engineer is focused on this critical performance. The future of humanity in space hangs in the balance. Starship's journey to the moon demands more fuel than a single launch can provide. Enter orbital refueling, a space-borne petrol station, circling Earth at thousands of miles per hour. After reaching orbit, Starship HLS will rendezvous with multiple tanker starships to fill its tanks. This has never been done at such scale, an orbital ballet of precision docking and cryogenic fuel transfer. In zero gravity, liquids float. SpaceX must invent new pumps and systems to manage the transfer. It's a vital technology for the entire lunar mission. Over 10 tanker launches may be needed for a single lunar trip, demanding an unprecedented launch rate. Every launch, every docking must be flawless. A single failure could jeopardize the mission. Mastering orbital refueling unlocks the solar system. If SpaceX succeeds, we're no longer limited by a single rocket's fuel. Starship could be refueled for journeys to Mars and beyond. This transforms Starship into a true interplanetary transport. The tests happening in orbit are as crucial as the lunar landing itself. Each success paves the way for our future among the planets. The era of routine space travel hinges on this breakthrough. To meet Artemis and multiplanetary ambitions, SpaceX must build rockets fast. At Starbase Texas, a manufacturing revolution is underway. Rockets built on a production line, not one at a time. Multiple starships and super heavy boosters are assembled simultaneously with constant improvements. The scale is staggering, specialized steel, advanced electronics, and the world's most powerful rocket engines. SpaceX has built its own supply chains and is hiring thousands. Giant hangars, high bays, house the massive stages as teams work around the clock. The philosophy build, fly, fail, fix, fly again. Rapid iteration accelerates development and learning. For Artemis 3, SpaceX needs a fleet landers, tankers, and backups. The ability to mass-produce these machines is the foundation of the mission. The factory floor is as critical as the launch pad. Here the path to the stars is forged in steel. The road to the moon is paved with test flights. Each Starship launch is a lesson, testing not just rockets but the entire system. Early flights have shown both power and challenges providing vital data. The goal, a full successful flight profile, booster launch, stage separation and controlled landings. 
hot staging, where the upper stage ignites before full separation, has proven a major breakthrough. Upcoming tests will demonstrate in-space propellant transfer, a key for orbital refueling. Every flight's data feeds rapid improvements, weaknesses fixed on the next rocket. This fast-paced iterative cycle is SpaceX's superpower. It allows them to solve hard problems at unprecedented speed. The world watches these bold tests live. Each success brings Artemis III closer. The proving grounds of South Texas are where the future is forged. Even as SpaceX perfects Starship, they're designing version 3. Taller, lighter, more capable. The aim a vehicle optimized for frequent routine flights like a commercial airliner. New manufacturing techniques and design refinements will boost payload and efficiency. Fewer tanker flights may be needed simplifying lunar logistics. Upgrades include more Raptor engines and constant improvements in power and manufacturing. Incremental gains add up to a leap in capability. Lessons from every Artemis and tanker flight feed into version 3. By decade's end, a more powerful starship will be ready for even greater missions. This new breed will be the workhorse of our expansion into the solar system. The dream of cities on Mars becomes a tangible engineering project. Artemis 3 is not the end, it's a gateway. The technologies developed for the Moon are the same ones needed for Mars. The Moon is our training ground for surviving on alien worlds. Starship's ability to refuel in orbit is the key to reaching Mars. On Mars, Starship could make its own fuel from local resources enabling round trips. By decade's end, we could have a permanent lunar outpost, serviced by regular Starship flights. This base will be a hub of science and innovation, preparing us for Mars. Experience gained on the Moon will be invaluable for interplanetary missions. A fleet of reusable vehicles will stand ready for the first crewed Mars journeys. The vision humanity as a spacefaring civilization, with outposts on the Moon and cities on Mars. The race for Artemis III is just the first leg of this marathon. Today's work is charting humanity's next chapter, Across the Stars.